Advocates of the theory of global warming have criticised Martin Durkin's movie, The Great Global Warming Swindle. One of their main criticisms is that the movie does not show what has happened to atmospheric temperature and carbon dioxide since 1985. As we can see, the temperature rises while the sunspot activity, which is a measure of atmospheric temperature, falls away. This is taken by these advocates to show that the sun is not the cause of global warming and that man-released carbon dioxide is the cause. But is this true? To answer this question, let us look first at the oceans and their response to atmospheric temperature. As every school child knows from their geography textbook, the oceans and the atmosphere exchange carbon dioxide. When the oceans warm up, they release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. When they cool down again, they take in the carbon dioxide and they store it. So here we're looking at the ice core record from Vostok. And in the red, we see temperature going up from early time to later time at a very key interval when we came out of a glaciation. And we see the temperature going up. And then we see the CO2 coming up. CO2 lags behind that increase. It's got an 800 year lag. So temperature is leading CO2 by 800 years. But why is there a time lag of hundreds of years between a change in temperature and a change in the amount of carbon dioxide going into or out of the sea? The reason is that the oceans are so big and so deep, it takes literally centuries for them to heat up and cool down. So the oceans are responding to atmospheric temperatures 800 years ago. If we want to predict the effect of the oceans on global warming, we can use this knowledge to estimate their response as follows. We see that as the oceans are responding to the peak of the medieval warm period at the moment, they are likely to start cooling as they transition in their response to the Little Ice Age over the next 200 years or so. As this happens, the oceans will start to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and store it, and they are capable of removing many times the amount of carbon dioxide that man has pushed into the atmosphere. So the greenhouse effect due to carbon dioxide is not likely to rise for much longer. In fact, it is likely to fall. Now, let's look at the effect of the sun on atmospheric temperature. Professor Fries Christensen has shown that for most of the last 400 years, sunspots and temperature are highly correlated. Since 1985, the sunspot activity has started to fall. This suggests that the temperature in the atmosphere due to the sun is also falling. And should this component of temperature continue into the future, we can expect that the global cooling due to the oceans will be increased by falling temperature due to the sun. Putting all this together, it seems to me that in the future we can expect significant global cooling rather than global warming.